Hey everyone, welcome to another Criterion Closet Pick. This time it's actually old footage of when Chris and I kind of decided to create the Criterion Closet series, the selection series, and actually it was kind of Chris's idea, we, but we kind of molded it and formed it into what it is today. Honestly, it's been a little bit since we've had a Criterion Selection series, so I wanted to dig up some old footage to where we like really started. It's really rough, it's really raw, but that's perfectly fine. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I think Chris is going to enjoy it. Uh, he hasn't. He's been asking about this footage for quite some time, so I finally put it together, and I hope you enjoy it. And yes, like I said, it's it's rough and it's raw, and it's a lot of awkward silence parts, but. Please enjoy this video. Uh, thank you so much. We're actually going to be coming back with another Criterion Selection series very soon. I have um, some people lined up, so I'm excited for it. So enjoy the episode zero of the Selection series. So today we're going to be talking about Criterion and the Criterion Closet and the Closet Picks. And no, there's no Criterions in here. They're all actually right here. And today we actually have a special guest. Hey. Well, hey, it's Chris. It's my, it's my buddy. That's me. And uh, here I am in my room with uh, no bed or anything yet. Doesn't we, sleep. Doesn't, I don't sleep. I don't sleep. I just watch movies. And that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to do our Criterion Closet Picks. Criterion? Criterion. How do you become a Criterion? Well, you have to at least more than one. All right. So, Chris, pick, pick two of your favorite Criterion films. Only two. Only two. Well, I have a massive collection of only 10. 10 I'm very proud of. But one I'm really jealous of, and since it's the month of October, I would say this movie, House, is a must watch. We month. still haven't seen it yet. I haven't either. No, but this might change tonight. Oof. That would be it's going to be a trippy Japanese acid trip. That's what I think the whole movie is going to be. We're not compiling really a, like a marathon type list. I think we're just picking out our favorite criterions. Really just. Yeah. Criterion, and just like really paying homage to them. It's great. Which one would you take, Nathan? Well, pick, I'm picking ones that I enjoy the most. Um, hmm. One of the things I really enjoy, um, there's a lot of great ones, so that's what the hard thing is, picking different yeah, ones. I'm sure that's what it is. Um, one of my favorite Criterions that I own is probably <laughs> 12 Angry Men. Yes. I really, really enjoy this movie. Uh, it's probably my favorite uh, Sidney Lumet movie. Uh, and it's just, it, it's, I still think it's like relevant to today. It is. Like absolutely relevant to today. And That's why school show it all the time. Yeah, well, I didn't watch it in my school, so oh. I wish they did. So. Well, you know, you could call it 14 Angry Men, because when Nathan and I watch it, we get very angry. And you know what? The uh, the sadist um, character in that show, in the movie, mm -hmm. he's also in um, another Criterion on the waterfront, Sir Marlon Brando. Ah, uh, yes. <sighs> Guys, Classic film. If you haven't seen this movie, it uh, just take a day off from your work, tell your family, leave you alone. Get some nice tea, some coffee, camp in your room, put some comfy clothes on, just watch this thing. And just be blown away by how amazing Marlon Brando is. And Ellie Kazan, she's not playing around with this movie. I really enjoy um, the hook of the movie. Huh? <laughs> You'll get that if you see the movie. Oh, uh, yeah. You'll get it. So, now it's your turn to pick another one. Well, there's just so many. Honestly, I recently saw Midnight Cowboy at a, a uh, film club screening, so that's a very gorgeous criterion. I don't yeah. think I would take it with me today. Um, I can't decide which Charlie Chaplin um, criterion that I want to purchase next. It's probably not The Kid, I've seen that, but City of Lights and The Great Dictator are both something I'm thinking about. Those are two of my favorites, but my favorite might be the Gold Rush. Gold Rush? Yeah. I saw that in my uh, film appreciation class, um, and I might be called a normie for not knowing this, but this Godzilla criterion, when you open it up, for those who haven't bought it, check this beautiful, beautiful yeah. artwork. Better lighting. Yeah. 
Look at that pop-up. little pop up. Gojira. Whoa. Cool. Thank you, Honda, for Godzilla. But to go with House and your pick of. Which one did you pick again? 12 Angry Men. 12 Angry Men. Right next to Godzilla, too. I'm just in this spooky mood because of spook toes. Oh, of yes. Well, we need to find some scary ones. Have you seen Rosemary's Baby? Oh! That movie oh. is an amazing movie. Still hold- You know, I was actually going to pick a Roman Polanski film, um, but not Rosemary's Baby. Baby. I was gonna Bravery. Pick- <laughs> Bravery. Repulsion. Repulsion. Another great movie. I'm thinking Roman Polanski's Repulsion. Now, I don't... A good psychological movie. Yeah. I don't, like, condone anything he's done, but... Oh, yeah. The man makes some amazing film. Agreed. And this, I mean, this cover... This cover is amazing. Um, it doesn't tell you too much, but it tells you enough to watch this film. What about for you, Nathan? Well, if we're going to go horror movies, um, one of my picks here is probably The Innocents. That movie... Yeah. Yeah, is terrifying, and I think it's still terrifying to today's standards. The cinematography is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Uh, the atmosphere is what makes this movie. Yep, and it's just eerily creepy. The kids in this movie are just really like messed up. You can yeah, tell they they're messed up. So it's just, it's an amazing movie. And for the time that it's shot so well too. Um, yeah. Jack Clayton did a great job on it. And if you really like that, another criterion I heard about with the innocence in relation is called the uninvited. Um, Which I don't own here. I own it. Um, your ten. <laughs> my ten. But it's uh, another ghost story type film with Ray Milland, which I would definitely check out. In those bonus features, they do talk about the innocence. All right, <sighs> let's do one one more pick. For, one from you. Okay, and I promise not to pick a horror type criterion. Um, jeez. I feel like you should always double feature Kiru with It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, that is actually a really great double feature. I never thought of that. And you ever look at that and just think, man, Kurzawa is a magnificent man. Go watch Ran. <laughs> just talked about it recently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're getting close to the Kurosawa picks. Oh, all of them are all right over there. Wait, near the are beginning. they all closest because yeah. they're some of the best ever? Well, they're some of the one, first ones they put out. Yep. Sandro Yojimbo's over there. Seven Samurai's over there. Uh, Kagemusha's over there, I think. So, yeah, Rashomon's over there, right where your hand's at. Yeah. Seth, my friend, my roommate, you actually seen that. Rashomon's amazing. It's probably one of my favorites of his. Had to pay to go to MSU just to see that movie, but... <laughs> You uh, should watch this, possibly. The killing. Haven't seen that. Stanley Kubrick's. You know, Stanley Kubrick's actually one of those directors I was really tough on, because I was only introduced to him with, really, Clockwork Orange, which... Is a pretty messed up movie. It's a messed up movie, but when you look back on things, it is a pretty... Accurate. Good, accurate movie, yeah. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Because I'm a kid, even though it's not a horror... But I love this oh, movie. So good. Watership Down. John Hurt. Saw this movie. And I, I, I didn't give this movie justice because I saw it as a stream online. Tisk, tisk. But that this might be the only way I could condone you doing the, uh, watching this film is on Criterion. That movie is amazing. And I think it's one of the only cartoons that are actually on, or like animated yeah, films that, yeah. are, that are on Criterion. When are we, we getting Miyazaki, Studio Ghibli, Criterions? Give me Ghibli. Ooh, give me Ghibli. <laughs> okay, I got my three. for Mostly for the theme of October. I tried not to do it with my last book, Watership Down, but it has elements of horror because as a kid, if you ever saw that, it's pretty scary. But what's Nathan getting? I'm going to pick... Hmm, this is different. It's, it's close, though. It's sci-fi. Solaris. Oh, yes. I have not seen this movie yet. I want to. It's Russian. It's Tarkovsky, who is one of um, the greatest directors of all time, at least according to a lot of people, especially with cinematography and just a lot of postmodern kind of uh, filming and stuff. And so I don't really, I'm not very much aware. This is the only one I think I own by the Tarkovsky. I want to see, I want to own The Mirror. I want to watch that movie. I heard so many great things about it. Um, but this one's great. 
I know George Clooney did a remake of this, or at least he's in the remake. Um, a little over my A head. few years ago, but I'm looking forward to this movie. Mm. Nathan, some might say you're the man who knew too much. Well, that's a good way to end it, Chris. Well, thanks, thanks for, for joining. Um, let's get out of that light. Uh-huh. We have this back over here, Chris. Uh, thanks for stopping by the Criterion Closet. This Chris guy. is here. And we're going to watch something tonight. We don't know what we're going to watch, but uh, probably one of the things we talked about. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, maybe check out some of the movies that we talked about uh, or tell us more about some movies that we should check out yeah. down below in the comments section. Preferably Criterions. Yes, preferably Criterions because that's <laughs> what this you know this video is about. So anyway, give this video a like, comment down below. Don't forget to share this video, hit that notification bell, and also subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm not jumping around. <laughs>